Hi, my name is Jen Becker, and today I'm going to show you how to create photorealistic renderings using the new SketchUp Diffusion extension. So the process that I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to use Lumion 2023, but you can use any other rendering program, including Twinmotion, D5, etc. SketchUp Diffusion, and then Photoshop for some post-processing. So I'm going to start by opening my model in Lumion 2023. This is a park model that I've been working on. And I'm going to start by rendering out this image. So I'm going to go to the photo tab and we're going to render out this image 68. So you can see I've added a few effects in here. Um, color correction, real skies, and layer visibility. These aren't super important because once you put this image into SketchUp Diffusion, the lighting and some of the shadows and things like that are going to change anyway, so you don't have to worry too much about the effects coming straight out of the rendering program. So I'm going to go ahead and render this out. And you can see down here that I've selected the Sky Alpha map and the Material ID map. So the reason that I'm going to render these two additional outputs out is just to make masking things in Photoshop more efficient. So I'm going to go ahead and just save over these. And this will take a minute to render out the original Lumion photo, and then it will move on to the Material ID map and the Alpha Sky map. Okay, awesome. Now that we have those rendered out, we're going to go ahead and open up a new SketchUp file. So I'm just going to make sure that my camera is in parallel projection and that we're in top view. Then what I'm going to do is just drag and drop our Lumion rendering in here. And I'm just going to zoom in so that image is in the middle of the view. And I always leave a little bit of white space around this just so that the diffusion image captures the entire image. So once you have this image in here and it aligned in the middle of the viewport, you're going to go to Extensions, Diffusion, and then the Diffusion tab. So that's going to open up this new window. And Basically, the way that this works is this plugin uses the Stable Diffusion Engine to create AI-generated images. So we're going to use this tool to create realistic renderings, and then we're going to merge them with our Lumion rendering in the next step in Photoshop. One key part about this is that specificity is really important in the prompts to get the best results out of this Diffusion Engine. So I'm just going to start by typing in a prompt here for this one. I'm going to start with pedestrian bridge. Overlooking river. With quartzite boulders. And riparian vegetation. I think that's a good start. It gives kind of like this overview of the image, but I think we want to add a little bit more detail about what's going on in the rest of the image. So I'm going to add, this is a park project, so park with grassy lawn areas, deciduous trees, and there's some existing buildings in the background that we want to make sure it keeps. And you could get more and more specific. You could add building materials into this. Um, they're not really the focal point of this image, so I'm not going to add them. Um, and then we want to go ahead and give it a time of day or some lighting to follow for some guidelines. So I think this one would be neat if we did a little golden hour shot. So I'm going to do epic golden hour lighting with realistic 
shadows and reflections. And then we want to give it a style to go off of. So for this one, I'm going to put in photorealistic. And I'm just going to double down on that and put photograph. <laughs> and then I'm going to put in a style similar oh, to landscape photography. So this new diffusion in extension allows you to create use these different default styles. So they have one for exterior photorealistic, interior photorealistic, aerial master plan, pencil sketch, watercolor, physical model, clay model, and illustration. Or you can also choose no style. Since I added my own style into the prompt, I'm going to choose no style for this one. But these are pretty neat because you can just throw an image in here and not add a prompt and then choose one of these styles to turn it into. So then we're going to go ahead and update some of these settings. So since this is a existing project, I want to keep everything that's there. So we want to change this slider all the way to the right um, for the respect model geometry slider. And then prompt influence. So this is a little bit different on each project that I've done this with. Um, sometimes I have really good results with it all the way to the left, sometimes all the way to the right, and sometimes somewhere in the middle. So we'll keep it in the middle for now and just see what it comes up with. And then once you have a good prompt in here and you've changed your style and your settings, you're going to go ahead and click the Generate button. And this takes just a few seconds to generate the, the three images. Awesome. So you can see some of these images are pretty neat. Um, you know, just taking a quick glance at these, I think the lighting is definitely more realistic. The skies are better. The vegetation is really nice, um, and some of these rocks along the edge of the river, which I wanted to switch out, um, definitely look a little bit better. So you can tweak this as, much, as many times as you want, um, change the prompt, change the settings. You know, we could run this again with the prompt influence a little bit lower and see what it comes up with. Um, and then to save your images out, you're just going to hit save, and that will create a PNG out of them. Awesome. So it didn't quite get the lighting that I wanted in that one. Um, you know, we could try to turn this up all the way and see what it comes up with. The one thing that you can notice, though, is that it is respecting that model geometry. Um, the railing's in the right place. The trees are in the right places. Um, and it's still capturing the architecture in the background. There we go. So some of these are turning out pretty cool. Um, I've already generated a few that I'm going to use for this tutorial. So I'll just show you guys how to save these out really quick. So the way that you can do it is that you just hit save, you browse to wherever you'd want to save it, and then you can change the title. This is just um, saying when it was rendered out at.